China drops sanctions on U.S. communications firm in rare reversal. What? They drop sanctions? Why would China do that? Just 110 or something days. Bullies don't Free election. Off. Yeah, they don't do that. And that's a Bloomberg story. China announced it's removing sanctions on Visa, uh, Visat Inc., a rare reversal from its previous stance following proposed U.S. arms sales to Taiwan. Chinese Foreign Minister spokeswoman Mao Ning, roughly last name right there, stated the situation has uh, changed but did not elaborate further. Uh, initially imposed in January, the sanctions targeted uh, Visat, Viasat, and four other U.S. defense companies, freezing their properties in China and prohibiting Chinese entities from trans, uh, transacting or cooperating with them. These measures allow the U.S. Department, uh, State Department approval of $300 million in possible weapons sale to Taiwan. This has significant business ties. Visat has significant business ties in China, including a partnership with China Satellite Communications to provide in-flight Wi-Fi and local branch in Marsat, acquired in 2023, which previously counted China Central Television as a major client. Tom, what's behind this story? Well, here's what happened. So Biden has a bad debate. The polls shift. We have the assassination attempt. The polls move some more. And China basically made a bet. And China is assuming that what is happening is that Trump is very likely to win the election. So China knows that when Trump wins the election, that there's a new sheriff in town on everything from economic sanctions to tariffs. And China is attempting to put a small olive branch out doing something they never do, which is back off a sanction. So they back off a sanction. China sees the Trump, what they believe is momentum that's going to put Trump in the White House. They're going to be dealing with him again, and they are getting ready for it because China plays the long game. Uh, the other side of the, can we talk about just the other side of the world? Yeah. Something similar? Mexican president, you know, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, President Obrador says, President Trump is a friend and a man of intelligence and vision. Boy, that's flattering. That's very nice. And he says, uh, but dude, don't don't close the border. Here's why. Quote from President Obrador. Migrants don't carry drugs to the United States and closing the border won't solve anything anyway. And so with the border closed, you would have other issues. Why is the Mexican president saying that specifically about Trump? Because they see it coming. They absolutely see it coming. And, you know, Trump has also apparently had a, a phone call with Zelensky. The rest of the world is reacting to the debate, <clears throat> to the assassination attempt, and to what they think is the momentum of direction. And what it, you know what it tells us, folks? Let's pay attention. Let's be objective here. Why is the rest of the world acting deferentially or leaning back into Trump? Because a strong U.S. president is good for the U.S. And in fact, it's good for the rest of the world. And we are seeing China, Mexico and even Zelensky and Trump saying uh Evan Gershowitz will get home, and I don't think I have to give up anything. You you watch. He's, said, he's made that statement over the weekend. So internationally, they think Trump's coming back, PBD, and people are positioning already. Do you know the last time we introduced this had what happened to it? Within seconds, it sold out. We ordered a 1,000 of these. Like this, it was gone, and we got hundreds of emails saying, hey, I won one of these. Can you please put it back up again for us to order? So this is what we're doing just to prepare on what's going to happen. Because the Olympics are about to start, and because those of you who watch this podcast love America, this hat says USA on the front of it. If you're proud American, you love America, sport this hat. On the site, it says Future Looks Bright. On the back, it says Value Tainment. On the side, it's got the American flag. And on the lid, it says the future looks bright. Never have we had a merch that sold out as fast as this. So here's what we're doing. That's the QR code. You go out there. We have a special USA gear, Team USA gear that is here on VTMerch.com. I'm telling you right now, when you go there, it's going to tell you on back order, but it's going to be first come, first serve because we're ordering. There's some amount that's going to go out immediately, but some of it's going to be on back order. The shirts, the hats, highly, highly recommend during this season, the next three to four months. When you go to work, maybe you don't want to feel like you want to wear some other hats, but maybe you're comfortable wearing a Team 
USA hat. Sport this gear when you're going to work, when you're going out over the weekend. Let people know you're proud to be an American. We got the gear here for you. A uh, bunch of different things. If you can zoom in on a couple of those shirts when you order it, it says USA on the front and it says future looks on, bright on the back and it's got the American flag on it as well. So again, go to vtmerch.com, place your order. Don't be one of the ones that hesitates. Order two, three for your friends, your family, your peers. There's even gear for uh, women. The last time we had some uh, female gear that we announced, women's gear we announced, it actually went very quickly. I got a bunch of pictures as well of people. When you get this gear, sport it, tag us. We share it on the podcast. Uh, while we're going through it. So again, do your thing. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.